Can we get one more round of applause for Justice here? That was pretty amazing, right? As a quick reminder, of course, there is an artist donation jar at the back. Pop in a few bucks. It's not easy living out in Vancouver, not very cheap. So, yeah, please donate. Get him a beer or something. I have some t-shirts, too. There's also t-shirts, too. So, if you want a, you want to get your very own Blue Jay t-shirt, just ask this man right here. All right, so we're going to jump a little bit into the Q&A portion of the night. It's going to be pretty brief, then we'll get back to the music. I want to say, you guys, you have such a cool, mellow song, style of songwriting and, and stuff. What kind of artists and bands is inspire, I should say, uh, these songs? Um, well, I think from a really young age, I like Death Cab for Cutie a lot. Some of my friends will say, hey, I can, you, you kind of sound like Death Cab in some of these songs. I'm like, I can't help it. I just can't, like, I don't know. I just listened to so much of it when I was younger. But um, yeah, um, I really like this band called The American Analog Set. They're pretty mellow and um, do like a similar style of recording. And um, we also really like that band Cigarettes After Sex. They were a big sort of influence recording wise for us, um, just in the way that they did everything in a room, um, captured a vibe and that's sort of what we were after rather than building things up and possibly having it come off a little more sterile. I think within this, our songs are so simple that um, almost a, a large part of us getting excited about it has to do with how we played at that time. So ho we hopefully play it in a vibey way, and then we're like, okay, that's the one. Yeah. Those are all fantastic bands and influences, by the way. Uh, speaking of your EP and everything like that, what's the reception been like so far? You guys released in August of, tw uh, of this year. Yeah, what's, what's kind of been the feedback? I think it's been, I think it's been good. Uh, we've, uh, some things that we really enjoy, like KEXP, has been playing some songs and sort of we got a song of the day on them and that was pretty exciting and yeah besides that yeah some like our friends like it which is important you know I've, I've been in some bands before where friends will come out to the show and just be like nice to see you <laughs> after the set rather than oh I've, I've heard a few like oh I, I actually like your band I'm like oh that's that's new to me, so um, I'll, I'll take it for face value. Uh -huh. That's awesome. And uh, you mentioned a little bit of like recording process and everything like that. Uh, what was that whole process like, recording the EP, and who did you all work with? Um, well, the band recorded with a guy named John Ram at Afterlife Studios in Vancouver. Excuse me. Um, and it was very live off the floor, trying to capture the essence of the band and just how we play together. We're not the most proficient musicians, but I think when we get together, it, it can kind of lock in a way that's, I don't know, kind of nice. And yeah, so, some of the vocals and, and takes on the album are just sort of one play through. Um, with, uh, and yeah, John mixed it uh, on the fourth day we were in there. So yeah, we tracked for three days, mixed one day and I think, was it three days or four days? Okay, so it was three days. Um, yeah, so we tracked it in two days and then mixed it in a day. So it was really nice because, uh, I mean, I have another record coming out under the name Messaluna. Uh, the first single comes out November 9th, but that took me for fucking ever to work on. And I, I really like it. I don't know if I like it as much, but... <laughs> Um, it was nice to do something in a couple of days and realize, oh, you, you can get something you like in that time. So that was a really cool experience. That's awesome. And just, yeah, how quick that whole process can go. Um, finally, what do you guys, do you, does Blue Jay have anything planned for the future? Uh, just doing a bit of writing right now. And we have a show with the Pretties, I believe December 22nd at Redgate. Uh, a secret show coming up. <laughs> uh, 
and yeah, probably just working on some songs and stuff. And yeah, I, I got to focus a little bit on getting this other record out that I've been working on. And yeah, the whole the whole idea of the band was to keep it pretty chill. And when the songs were there, just go do them and not try and get in this cycle of let's just make something because uh, we have to or, or something. So. And that's with my friend, you know, Mark over there. And, you know, we've been high school friends, so it was quite an excuse to get together at first. So trying to keep it that way, even though some exciting things are happening. Well, that's super fantastic. We look forward to seeing more of Blue Jay. Uh, speaking of which, are you guys ready for some more music? Yeah. yeah, I think so. All right, please give it up once again for Justice. Justice. 